Goose. Hi, buddy. Good morning. Hi, guys. It's about 6.30 a.m. on a Saturday, and I was woken up early because Mike went to play golf, and he likes to get out really early to play golf because it gets so hot. <laughs> and so he's he probably had like a yeah like a 6:30 tea time or something. Um yeah, and I just couldn't get back to sleep. So, I decided to make the most of the morning. I'm feeling very motivated today. Um I think I'm going to start my morning out the way that I always do, doing my puzzle, my crosser puzzle, but also the New York Times has introduced a new puzzle called Spelling Bee. <laughs> which couldn't have my name on it more. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, a word competition? Um, and basically they give you a seven letter word and you make as many words out of that seven letter word as you can. And I've played it two days in a row now and the first day I got pretty close to like the best that you could do. And then yesterday I got genius and I was like, oh, I'm so smart. So I'm gonna see if I'm gonna be that smart again. Um, and then I might read my book. I'm gonna stay out here until uh, until it gets too hot too. I could really sit out here all day. <laughs> it's just so nice. But yeah, I'm going to probably go in and like clean the house. I uh, am hitting some kind of mode. I'm not quite to like total nesting, but I'm in like purge mode now where I'm just like, and I think maybe it comes in waves anyway in my life, like regardless of pregnancy, but I'm definitely in a place right now where I feel like I have too much stuff and I need to get rid of it. Like I was like putting something in a drawer yesterday and I was like, how are my drawers full? How are my drawers full? Like this is ridiculous. Like I have so few clothes, why are my drawers full? And uh, and then like underneath my bathroom sink, I have a bunch of like skincare that I don't really use anymore because my skin was changing so much during pregnancy and now it's pretty much leveled out. <laughs> now it's pretty much leveled out. Look at this thing, <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> and yes, I pooped it. There's so much garbage in it. Oh, anyway, I'm treating it with TLC now. I feel pretty bad about doing that, but. It is what it is, um, but yeah. So that is probably what I will take you guys through today is some like cleaning, some decluttering, and I'm gonna start my morning off chilling. Hey, Burb. Bye, Burb. Oh, wow. So many Burbs. Is that your tree, buddy? You find some shade in your tree. Wow. Meanwhile. Hey, Smalls. Ollie. Yep, that's a hound for you. I did it. I did it, Per Monster. I'm a genius. Wow. 17 words and 66 points. Feels so validated. He's applauding me. What are you doing? He has been so sweet lately. I don't know what has gotten into him. He used to not want anything to do with me. And now he just comes for scritches all the time. <laughs> Can't reach you. You always swim away from me. <laughs> Walko? Walko? Why'd you go for Walko? Oh, yeah. What? You go out? Okay, it's 8 a.m. like on the nose and I am almost ready after walking homie over here Almost ready to start cleaning with a vengeance, but why are we whining? I gave you treats Yeah, I already gave them to you. No more. Go amuse yourself. I don't understand. We just took the longest walk anyway uh, Yeah, I'm gonna eat some breakfast, but my breakfast has been kind of funny lately like I my imagination for food is gone. I, I hate so many things. Like by, by the mid, mid mark of my pregnancy, like there are so many foods that I just like never want to see again. <laughs> so um, I have reverted to just some gluten-free cereal. Like I haven't eaten just regular box cereal in so long. And this is a maple crunch gluten-free situation. I am also guys, <laughs> considering trying like a meal delivery like situation because um i literally like i love to cook but i have completely lost my patience for it like i being 
pregnant and hungry and constantly having to think about the next thing that you're putting in your mouth because you just like it's you're always hungry and then right after you're hungry you're painfully full there is no just like satisfied um i just i'm so exhausted of thinking about the food seat plus you know <laughs> it breaks it up when you're able to go out and we just haven't been able to go out you know we'll order in every once in a while but there's it, the options are really limited and the quality is kind of low and so it's better to kind of cook for ourselves and i've just totally lost my cooking stamina so um i've been looking at ones that are all gluten free and that's kind of what i'm what i'm thinking i might try so i'll let you guys know So anyway, I'm gonna start cleaning now. <laughs> and uh, typically how I do it, especially in like one big, like what would you call this? Flex space like we have for our living room, dining room, kitchen situation. I just start at one end and I work my way to the other end. So cue the time lapse. I did not realize that one of my Amazon packages was just a repurposed Amazon box and it was my sister sending me an incredible uh, care package. <laughs> just because, <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll hold that for you guys later. My battery's dying. All right, let's do this. boring to watch so uh yeah and then we will move on to the bedroom welcome to the bedroom she's seen better moments <laughs> Yes, I know, our sheets don't match. There is a story, and it involves me getting upset with Mike because he gave the maids the wrong sheets to change last week, and now our sheets are on the upstairs bed. He claimed that he didn't know that there were sheets for specific bedrooms, and I said, if you switched up the sheets in your mom's house between all the bedrooms, what would she do? He goes, she would hate that, and I was like, yeah. 
I'm going to do the bathroom real quick and then I'll bring the vacuum in here. Herein lies the issue. We have way too much stuff in here that I'm not using right now, but I'm just going to keep this to a cleaning vlog. We'll declutter in a different vlog. I'm already losing steam. microfiber towels that uh, like Leanne has that she was talking about in her vlog. I really do feel like these just like 100% cotton rag. They just, they just kind of push the pet hair around after a while. Okay, so I'm just gonna vacuum the bedroom, start a little laundry, and decompress for a second. Okay, so is it my best job at cleaning my house that I've ever done? Absolutely not. I haven't dusted or anything, but uh, it's what my mom refers to as cleaning the first layer of crud off of everything. And it just makes me feel a lot better. Oh. And then here's the bedroom. Again, not perfect. But we can go ahead and unbox this incredible care package from my sister. So, ugh, the first thing in here that I see is a piecework puzzle which is so awesome. You guys, if you watch my main channel, heard me rave about my last one. I had the Rise and Shine one, and this is Tchotchke. These are just the most fun puzzles. They're like really, really beautiful. All the pieces are kind of like soft touch, and they feel really nice. It just feels like a high quality puzzle. And just the way that they are put together, something about them is like the perfect intersection between easy enough to be like relaxing, but not so easy that you get bored. So yeah, really, really excited about that guy. She also got me a facial steamer. <laughs> I could probably really make some use of that because your girl has the driest sinuses of all time. And I, uh, it definitely is like, exacerbated by pregnancy, so. This will be super, super nice. Let's see, what else have we got here? Are those tampons? That's random. So my sister is also like a, what? Like a, an influencer kind of? Like she, she would hate that I said that. She's, uh, she writes, uh, well she wrote a newsletter for a minute uh, having to do with like the homebody lifestyle while we were all kind of stuck at home. But she's been a blogger for a long time and now I don't know what she considers herself, an author or a writer or a, uh, a journalist or a storyteller or whatever, but either way, she gets sent stuff. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think that she's sending me a little bit of stuff that she got in PR. More Lola. Actually, what's interesting is Mike knows the girl who owns this company. He went to high school with her. High school or college, maybe college. She knows that I love a good Dixon Ticonderoga pencil. It's just one of my favorite things. They're just, they're the best. That's why it says the world's best pencil. Um... We have a hydrating protein mask. Some more stuff from Lola. These are panty liners. Ooh, some really heavy cotton socks. I will enjoy those. And then what have we got here? Oh, just as I said she would hate that I said influencer. Influencer, building your personal brand in the age of social media. So I do consider myself an influencer. That is the job that I have. I call myself a creator, but I mean, if I'm being honest, I, I'm an influencer, like it is what it is. And. I don't really think that that's a bad connotation. So this is pretty cool. That is all. I'll break this box down and put it in recycling. 
And uh, I'm definitely gonna crack into this puzzle today. That is so, so cool. So thank you, sissy. Okay, so it is now officially 10 a.m. on the nose. And <laughs> I am kind of toast for the mom. Mike should be home in the next few minutes. He, if his tea time was at 6.30, 10.30 at the latest. Yeah, I got, uh, I got some friends here with me. Hey, buds. Oh my God. I can't even stand them. They're so cute. You guys are so cute. They're such good brothers. They like, they cuddle, they clean each other, and then they wrestle. <laughs> so cute. But um, yeah, I think I'm finally gonna finish my book now. Like I have, I don't know what the pages would be. It's all on Kindle, but um, I'm gonna finish um, White Fragility while I've got the time. And I'm going to take off my bra <laughs> because there's just a time limit on a bra, okay? Now that I've got C cups, <laughs> there's a time limit. He's just standing on my leg. Do you know why? It's because I have a glass of water. He's a very simple cat. <laughs> and he would like to have that water. But he knows his head won't fit inside the jar. So he's just gonna sit here and wait, ostensibly for me to stick my fingers in there and feed him droplets of water one at a time, which is not happening right now. <laughs> it is a ritual of ours, but it's not happening right now. So meanwhile, I just have a little bed buddy. <laughs> so I just finished it and I'm not gonna try and like sum it up for anybody because <laughs> there's just a lot to go through, but it's a fantastic book and even cooler, she gives a bunch of resources for continuing education uh, at the end. And so it's like a bunch of books, articles, and blogs, and then also uh, films. But yeah, anyway, I, I really recommend that. I'm really glad that I read that and I'm gonna probably just take another list or another book off of her list next um i have like genuinely never looked worse <laughs> uh, <laughs> i just can't believe how much one and i'm sorry like i i know that you know it sounds insensitive trust me i came from a place of having tons and tons and tons of zits and picking at all of them and it being really bad but i like can't believe how much one picked zit can totally throw off like the whole appearance of my face to me and like how that still affects me it still gives me like it brings up mental scars of when i was just like this obsessive picker and oh it's like i have so much regret about that that's so annoying that i did that and then i have one right here that i didn't pick but like it's just it's like wedged underneath my glasses and it hurts mm. Yeah, who knows whether it's hormones or that uh, like big wear test that I did the other day where I was wearing like a pound O makeup for like a wedding day wear test kind of thing. And uh, I was wearing the Hourglass Foundation which does not particularly agree with my skin. <sighs> Either way. I need to go eat. I need to go feed myself. But look at this guy, he's all coddled up on my tum. How do I tell him to move? I literally can't. I might just have to order food and tell them to bring it to my bed. Because you're just too cute and I don't know what to do. Look at how cute you are. Look at how cute you are. I just want to eat you up. Eat you up. The most perfect boy. Yeah. Is it supposed to get hot today? I put some makeup on. Let's see. It's doggone 88 right now. <laughs> Here it's like, oh, it's not 100. Yeah, it's gonna be 93 today. We could go uh, pick up the stain. Yeah. Also, Adam, the flooring guy, basically emailed me and said, that slipped my mind, apologies. I'll tackle that this morning and should get you an updated bid ASAP. Look at that turd bucket. This one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's still got an eye open. Okay, so I've just been hanging out for the last couple hours. Mike actually took a shower and then fell asleep. We ordered some lunch, we got some poke. This is like way blown out, but I don't feel like adjusting it. Yeah, and so I've actually just been watching Aspen Ovard's like birthing videos. <laughs> She's just kind of like one of those OG, like 10 years younger than me YouTubers, but like watching all of her like postpartum stuff and everything. It's gonna be, you know, pretty useful information regardless. So yeah, um, but before I ended the vlog, I just wanted to give you guys a little bump date because we will be 21 weeks 
tomorrow, so. Oh, FYI, I wear the crap out of these Myra Penaloza dresses. Like I have uh, three of her dresses and a jumpsuit now, and they are just like what I live in. But I don't know if you can see it. I'll kind of try and hold that with my arm. Can you see that? Let's see if I can. I like don't wear anything tight, so it's like hard to really see. <laughs> you can like see my underwear, sorry about that. But um, yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm definitely like really, like you know what I mean? I used to have this like little tiny waist and now I have a bump. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that's where we're at. It's, um, it's definitely like really big to me. It definitely feels really big to me. You know, for someone who had micromanaged their body for so long, the way that I have, <laughs> I don't recommend it. Any change is really, 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 really noticeable. <laughs> and just this much change has completely like dissociated me from my body. But watching people hit the finish line and have the baby and talk about postpartum and everything like that, like it makes it all very real and it makes it all seem so much more like it's actually, like it's not endless, <laughs> you know? Like, like it will, you know, cause you do, you feel like you're gonna just be pregnant forever. So, oh my battery's dying. That's also convenient for the timing. So yeah, um, I'm doing pretty well though. And as far as like pregnancy symptoms and stuff, like I have very little to complain about and I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the afternoon, probably go hang out with Mike a little bit. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, there'll be more vlogs on this channel as much as I can do. And um, let me know if you, like what level of sharing you guys want on that kind of stuff, on like pregnancy stuff. Like, do you want me to, I don't know, share postpartum videos and stuff like that? You guys tell me, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one, bye.